everyone. This is a very brief tutorial on how to use your Google Drive fieldwork folders. Um, I, before I begin this video tutorial, I want to uh, let you know that I'm all I'm using a program called Screencast-O-Matic. Here's the website where you can do a sh shared screen recording uh, functionality, so you can share your screen. You can do this for presentations and whatnot. It's just a good website and I, I want to give them a shout out uh, for for this tutorial so um, you are all gonna get a link in your mail a email sorry um, from me uh, for an invitation to collaborate and it's gonna have your name here go ahead and click open this um, this email once you open this email you're gonna see your field work folder under your name Go ahead and open that up. Once you open up this fieldwork folder of yours, you're going to see five different uh, folders within your file under your name. You're going to see fieldwork miscellaneous, I1, which stands for internship one, I2 stands for internship two, I3, and I4. Uh, each of these folders are going to have, you're going to be uploading and dumping your appropriate forms designated under each folder, if that makes sense. So go ahead, uh, before you do anything, this is in a grid view. Um, if you wanna see it in a list view, you have that function to see it in the list view as well. Um, it's really up to you. Go ahead and open this under your, um, your Google Drive account. So go ahead and click this button on the top right corner, it says Open in Drive. It's going to lead you to your Google Drive account, and you're going to see your fieldwork folder here. In the fieldwork miscellaneous folder, go ahead and open that. It's going to be empty for you. What you want to put in here are all the miscellaneous fieldwork forms, such as your fieldwork exam, uh, maybe a certification, or even a screenshot of your results. You want to have that file in here under Fieldwork Miscellaneous. You want to have a copy of the Fieldwork Handbook uh, downloaded from the Star Course or um, with, in your file somewhere. You can put it in this miscellaneous folder as well on your Google Drive. Maybe your internship contract that you signed uh, before you started your first internship, all the interns were responsible of signing uh, the contract, the internship contract. You can put that in, in this folder, the miscellaneous folder. Um, exception to policy forms, they're all going to be here in this folder. Maybe a copy of your live scan, even your TB test. Um, those are forms that can be uh, in this category as well. So miscellaneous folder, you can put these uh, files in this folder. Now let's go back to the other folders. And the other folders, <clears throat> if you open up, let's say I open up um, internship 2. It's going to be blank for you. Okay, so for you, it will be it will be blank like this. Here, you can um, click and drag whatever forms your contracts, your evaluations, your informed consents, anything that you have related to internship number two. You can dump that in here, um, and and that will be stored and it will be categorized uh, based on what you put in there. If you go, for example, um, you can dump it all in and it can look like this. It can be jumbled like this, where it's your audio, it's your video, your informed consents, your contracts. This is all related to internship three. Um, your presentations that you've done, your form A, uh, eligibility form can go in here. Uh, your evaluations for this particular internship, if you finished it up, that can all go in uh, the designated folder. Now this can look sort of messy um, and your supervisor is going to have access to this folder as well to, to listen to your audio, to see your videos that you do. Um, so what I suggest is to create subfolders and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to go to um, whatever internship that you're you're at. Let's say I go to internship four. That's where I'm currently at. Let's say, and I created subfolders uh, that designate where I'm going to drop the specific files into. How do you create subfolders? There are many. There are a couple ways of doing it. 
um, you can hover over this white place right here and click on the, uh, the right click your mouse and you'll you can create a new folder and I'm gonna say internship stuff just for an example now you're gonna have a folder that says internship stuff I created all these folders on my own um, I would suggest um, these folders as an example for example audio folder within uh, each internship so I can dump all my audio files uh, designated whatever internship that I'm at. Uh, handouts, whatever I use, whatever type of handouts or presentation worksheets that I use for this particular internship, I dump it in, in this uh, file here. Um, informed consents, I would dump all my informed consents for internship four in this uh, file. Um, Pre-internship contracts, that would be form B, form C, form D, uh, your, uh, your supervisor's contract, everything that is uh, contracts related to your internship for number four, it would be dumped under here. I also created a, a video file and I would dump video, uh, video files in here so that my supervisor uh, knows where to go to watch these, these videos. Um, so again, you can right click and create a new folder or you can go up here click on I4 and create a new folder here. Um, that's another way, internship stuff. That's another way of creating uh, subfolders within your uh, folder for whatever internship that you're at. So this is a brief tutorial on fieldwork folders that each of you will be getting an invitation to. Now again, this is gonna be your file on Google Drive and please uh, go ahead and dump all of your forms related to each internship sites to the accord, uh, according files that you see in your file. Um, so I hope that made sense. Uh, it's a brief tutorial, but I just wanted to share with you on uh, what to do with these Google Fieldwork folders. Thanks.